welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new here, that's Glory. Come on, my little siren. Come on. Come on, Glory. She wants to be part of this action. You want to be part of this action? She wants to be part of this video. This is my gorgeous Heise and Maka Glory. So if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Give us also a like on this video and hit the bell. All right. So as you read the title today, I'm going to talk about bird scammers. Um, you guys have to be very aware about the bird scammers. People who say they sell macaws or high scent macaws or even their eggs. If it's too good to be true, it's not true. And those scammers, they're all over the place, especially online. They bait you with beautiful pictures first. <laughs> they bait you with beautiful pictures first and they want to make a quick sale and get your dollars out of your pocket so this is what happened to naomi i'm going to switch now over to skype naomi is in netherlands she experienced a bird scammer and he posts glory's picture online <laughs> Luckily, no, Naomi, <laughs> you're happy. Yeah, we caught him in the lie. So luckily, Naomi watched my channel and she watched my videos and she could tell exactly that it was glory and it wasn't even his picture. Those bird scammers stole my picture off my Instagram and says it's the bird and it's six months old and it's his bird and it's a baby. And let's listen to Naomi. Let's give her a call right now. Hello? Hi. <laughs> Can you see me? No. I just switch on video. Yes. Yay! Um, <laughs> All right. Glory. Yeah, this is Glory. Oh, so this is Glory. <laughs> she wants to be part of this video. <laughs> uh, oh, so sweet. <laughs> right? So, Naomi, tell me what happened to you. So... I'm lately uh, very into uh, birds and uh, I was just uh, looking uh, on pictures on Instagram and liking pictures and one day I was thinking it was like last week somebody sent me an, uh, a, fr an, a friend request to me and on, Instagram, right? on Instagram right on Instagram on Instagram right on Instagram yes uh -huh. And I saw a name with birds, so I was thinking, okay, I accept it. And um, he sent me a private message for, uh, I'm selling birds. And I was already looking to his page and I was thinking only nine followers or something. I was like, that's great. If you're selling birds wor uh, worldwide, <laughs> no followers almost, that's great. And you know, when you look to somebody's page and you see you can see if it's fake or not. You can yeah. see if the picture is too, um, it's from, uh, you can take a picture from Google or something. And I was thinking that's strange. So he sent me a video with your birds. With my birds. <laughs> yes, one video. And I saw that video on YouTube. So I, I know it was a lie. He said, he said that was, is my bird and I can sell it to you. Wow. <laughs> and that's when I, send it to you and uh, yeah because my bird room i saw you sent me the picture and you emailed me immediately because i saw in the bird room my bird room is very specific i have this macaw picture on the wall we have the wallpaper the bird wallpaper yes and i hear your voice in that video when it well what you sent to me oh my gosh it's <laughs> so stupid yeah so you know exactly he was a scammer Yes, but I need proof. So I was uh, like, okay, okay. Look at it. But after when I say it, you are a liar and everything. He's still saying, if you don't want to believe me, that's fine. But it's my bird. Yeah, uh -huh. I saw I saw the text messages. You sent it to yeah. me. You, saw, I, you sent me. Um, I'm going to put it in for people to read. Like he basically like say, 
um, he, he, he deny it. And then he says, it's like my bird. Are you kidding me? And he totally deny it. And we know it wasn't his bird and he's a scammer. So this is the first thing that people need to know, because if you buy birds, usually what they do, their Instagram account is very low followers because they just created it. They following really high, but nobody follow them back. And then yes. they have only nine pictures. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And also what I think is when uh, somebody maybe they send money, they close the page and they make another one. Yeah. One with a different name. And then again, they try to scam people yeah. to get more money. Right. Uh -huh. That is how uh, they work, I think. Yeah. But good thing that you caught him in the act and then you email me yeah. immediately. So you wanted to buy a hyacinth or you're just looking to buy macaws or? No, because I see it on his page, uh, one hyacinth with, with a picture and I already know, oh, it's looking so fake. But I was thinking, oh, let me ask what you say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then he sent me that video with your birds. I was thinking, oh, what a liar, what a liar. Yeah, but you are smart because you watch my video. Plus, you know, you know, you, you're in Europe right now, right? You are in Netherlands. Netherlands, yes, right? The Netherlands. Yes. Right. We're, like, you are smart. You don't sell, uh, you don't send immediately money. You know, like in America, they say, oh, just down payment, $600 or like a thousand dollars if something yes. is too good to be true in america then don't send money but even in europe like um it's so cheap like usually when they says did he say any price how much he wants for a high cent macaw uh two thousand or something two thousand dollars two thousand uh. dollars okay so yeah. this is very cheap <laughs> This is yeah. a very cheap price for hyacinth, and it's especially it's, for dead birds. Yeah, hyacinth like this, they are like you don't get them under ten thousand. Even if you get like a rescue for five, eight thousand, that is a pretty good price. But nothing over like under two or three thousand, it's not possible. I know, but uh, I feel bad because also. Uh, with uh, real uh, uh, bird lovers like you, they make a bad name because maybe the next time people don't believe it anymore and they are they are in the world uh, real breeders. And maybe if people are scammed like that, they don't believe anybody anymore. Yeah. And they make a bad name for uh, breeders. Uh, good breeders too. Yeah. Yeah. And that's I not fair. And it's not fair that they use your birds. Yeah and it's yours exactly exactly so we know he's a scammer so uh i just want to make people aware if you if you find something that is too good to be true it's not true uh people are emailing me on instagram and says hey somebody wants to send me hyacinth egg for like 300 dollars. it's so cheap i want and it will be fertile and he guarantee me it's fertile now something like that is also totally a scam because once, if they have hyacinth eggs, why don't they hatch it themselves? And if you get a hyacinth egg, it's a jackpot and a lottery. <laughs> it's so hard and to also, get a fertile hyacinth egg. And I egg. think also a good breeder, um, it's not only about the money. You want to know everything. If you have experience with birds like yeah. that, yeah. if you can handle birds like that, they don't give it just like that, only for the money. If, if it is a good breeder and a real breeder, I right. think. Uh, right. They want to know where he's going to live. Exactly. You want to put like the, the bird in a good home. So yes. you don't want that people just buy, buy, buy baby birds and then the baby birds will get rehomed and go from sanctuary yes. to sanctuary or from home to home. And then they create a monster who's biting and nobody can handle yes. them. Like I was lucky with uh, Glory. Glory got rehomed to me and she had just one owner her whole life. And I'm the second owner. So she was really lucky that we got her <laughs> and she's an older bird, but we totally turned her around because she was a little difficult in the beginning. She was excited. Mm -hmm. She never had a bird family. She was more with humans together. She was one-on-one -on, -one on humans, but now she's like really a good bird and she's just 
um, very uh, happy and changed, as you can see. <laughs> yes, because I saw that video with that uh, healing person. <laughs> yeah, we... <laughs> with Gloria, I like that video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we prayed for her and ever since then she became another bird. <laughs> and, and why it was not a good home? Or do we... No, it was for her it was a um she loved her 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 previous owner, but her his wife got cancer and they oh. couldn't take care and she's a screamer. She would scream the whole time. So he wanted to give her, her back to the bird shop he bought her from when she was a baby. She was eight months old when he bought her. And then he, um, then I came in the way and I told him I'm getting a baby, a boy. And then we had a play date, uh, glory and love, and they like each other. And then, you know, we made some arrangements and, and then I got her, right? Wow, so right? cute. The best home ever. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she's happy now. She's happy. Uh, Oh, so cute. Yeah. Oh, so cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's a cute baby. A cute girly. Yeah, how happy she is. It's <laughs> uh, so yeah. big. They are so big. Oh, my God. Yeah, they are the biggest parrots in the world that can fly. Uh -huh. So that's oh my goodness. pretty cool. Um, it's beautiful. Oh, sorry. Oh. I, 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 I tried to, like, open one of her pin feathers and she didn't like it. And then, of course, like, okay. she warns me. I'm, I think it's great that you are aware of the scammers, that you know exactly that he was a yeah. scammer, that you didn't send him any money, that he recognized my picture and my voice, my video, and then that you reach out to me personally. So, And yeah. then you also like say to him, you are a scammer, you are a con <laughs> artist, this bird belongs to Caroline Von Petzold. <laughs> I yeah. saw the and messages. Still, and when I, often, when he, he, I say it, you read it, He's still lying to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here are the, some steps. Uh, here are some steps how you can recognize a scammer. So a man here in California, he lost 850 when he tried to buy a macaw. And then once he paid $850, the breeder says to him, hey, I need another 950 to put in an AC in a cooler so the bird doesn't die because it's so, so hot. And the man's like, what? what the weather is okay but in the end he noticed it was a scam and he lost 850 dollars do your research before you buy something <laughs> yeah yeah and then here's another case another victim she lost 2750 when she tried to buy a pair of parrots uh online and then mm -hmm. she was talking with the scammer and the scammer texts her and say, send me money. And then she sent bit by bit, bit by bit, first the deposit. And then when it was ready to send the bird, he never delivered. Uh -huh. He says like, oh, sorry, like the bird, uh, something happened. And then after, after she paid $2,700, she noticed she got scammed and that she got conned. And then she was like, uh, you cannot do anything anymore. You know, they have also fake names and stuff. And also never use MoneyGram, never use prepaid gift cards, never use Western Union, never send money like this. The best thing is also to send, like if you have a real breeder to send like a check or go there oh. directly in person to see the birds and buy cash, yes. you know, in a bird store, in a, in a, in a parrot store, in a bird store, in a pet shop but never ever do money transfer, wire money. These are all red flags for yes. scammers because it's very easy online to hide online. And also you need to know the red, the breeder's reputation. I was really lucky with uh, love. So I got in touch with a reputable breeder and before I even send the deposit, I asked him for his vet information and he gave me the information of the vet. I even asked him, hey, can I call you? What's your number? So I talked with him on the phone and he was great. He was awesome. Um, he gave me the number of the vet. I called the vet. People know that vet. I Googled that vet. I talked to the vet and he says, yeah, uh, that breeder is very good. He takes care of his baby birds. And then I know I had peace of mind that I know that I will get a good bird yeah, from good him. Feeling, yeah. yeah, but you know, love, 
uh, I got from Florida, so I never met this guy, this breeder. But after I paid him all the money, he did ship me uh, love. He's now more macho bird. <laughs> okay. And Glory, um, he can fly. Love can fly. He always fly all over and on me and stuff. And he's very confident. And Glory's always afraid. But Glory also like, you know, like her, like this. She's always like a little on the defense yeah. side. She's the yeah. lowest burden yeah. of food chain because she cannot fly in my house. <laughs> but Love oh, yeah. is very confident. And I know like when Love is out, he's all over the place. And Glory just likes to sit on one spot and don't move. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, and Love so is all sleep? over with Hope. <laughs> yeah, so, so she how sits, does she sleep? She is sits she in her cage she... on one spot. Is she screaming in the night? Oh, Can you no. sleep? No, she doesn't scream. She always oh. just she just screams when in the daytime if I don't give her attention. But oh. usually she's here in my room and she sits when I'm working. And love and hope hope and love is in the right now in the bird room. They're playing together. Oh. And then the Amazon are in their cages. Um, otherwise they will be biting everything and breaking everything. But yeah, so Glory likes one on one time. So when I'm working oh, here. Did you? Glory likes only time with you, not with the other birds? Yeah, she, she Love is a little mean to her. Oh. <laughs> she backs down yeah. from Love. Because Love wants to chase her and she's afraid right now of Love. So oh. she doesn't want to be with with Love. But she likes Hope. Hope, oh, that's Hope, nice. Hope and Glory, they start flirting now. <laughs> uh -huh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. But she likes human rather she likes me rather than other bird company because that's all what she knew for the past 20 plus years right okay so my screen is working now again okay can you tell me again um start recording the story with the money with the money yes so i so I was faking it too. I was like, I want to buy that bird, you know. I don't even have the money for a bird like that. But anyways, I, I, I want to prove. So he was like, okay, send me your address, uh, your, 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 uh, where you live and everything. And then I can send it to you tomorrow. And uh, for like a $2,000 or something. And uh, that's it. I was thinking like that easy. You don't want to know who I am. Nothing. Mm -hmm about me that easy uh -huh. it was so strange yeah uh -huh. yeah and he wanted instantly he can like send it you instantly he because he wanted the money instantly usually yes. like he when people advertise they advertise baby bird and it will take like two or three months till they can send you and you put down a deposit and then you just wait for the bird to like grow up so once once you send the money to that to that a breeder or to that scammer you will never hear back from him <laughs> that's it and your money never. is gone and once it's out never. of your hand your money is gone and you never get the bird yes and maybe maybe is it people who um you don't know who work together yeah more websites i have yes. i once wanted la last year buy a baby lorry key girl for angel and I pay already the money in full. This breeder was reputable, but the first time around he says the baby died and I was so sad. And then I says, okay, I pay half. And then he refund me the money again. But then I was says, no, no, I really want the bird. I don't want the money. I really want the bird. I want Angel to have a mate. So I pay him in full and that breeder um, after all this time, I waited a whole year. Um, at the end, he back out and says, sorry, I don't want to sell you the bird, but he refund me the money. And he says, uh, he says, don't contact me anymore because he was not happy that I had a YouTube channel and you know, I was kind of like famous and he didn't want his bird to be, I don't know, with angel together. And then he was afraid that I start breeding them because he says, you cannot breed two different species of a lorikey. And I think that was the the thing he think like I wanted to breed Angel with another girl and he didn't want to sell, sell me that girl because he don't want me to breed birds. 
so he refunded me the whole money which was like just crazy because i you know i didn't want to breed i just want angel to get a mate a female a girl you know and yeah. then i see okay forget it <laughs> and i have enough birds anyway so yes you are yeah. very busy with all the birds <laughs> yes yes so now here are some um uh, some tips to avoid scammers so number one don't buy a bird if you don't see that person life like you need to go in a pet shop and see that bird and interact with that person now if there's no way around like with love ask questions like ask him for your phone number um ask him if you can talk with him on the phone so you can hear his voice ask him from the vet uh, because if it's a good breeder, he has a vet and he will give you freely the vet information. Um, and fake breeders website always like looks the same because they steal pictures from other people and it looks good, but it's all stolen pictures and stolen content because they don't have birds. They just want to make a fast buck, you know? Um, and then the other thing is also, um, there, there is on the website who w h o i s where if you find a website you can just copy paste and put who is and then you can find out who belongs that website but now in instagram you cannot do it but if they don't have a website and it's a fake site you can you can kind of trace out where they are located through who is the web information on their website and you can find out like who they really are and if they're legit or not legit and who owns that domain that's also very interesting where they are located um and then you can ask them also hey where are you located and then when he says uh i don't know like america but then in their website it says europe you know that it doesn't like he's not truthful he's lying when yeah. he says like I'm in Florida and then you can see on the website yes he is in Florida and it matched then you can know like he he's speaking the truth yeah. you know so the host website is very important if you like search for like you know birds um also um check the references like vets and everything as I say also do customer reviews and research research the reviews I always put in the website I Google it and then I put scam or reviews or whatever and then better business bureau will find will pop up and then I can see if the business had already scams and complaints and I can read the complaints or the customer reviews so check out the reviews and if it's a pet shop you can see reviews on Yelp and you can read also the reviews reviews on Yelp very very important because a responsible breeder will have good reviews and they will have good clients but a breeder that doesn't is responsible and he just wants to make a fast buck. He's a scammer. He has no reviews. He has no internet presence. And he don't give about the birds. Yeah, they don't give anything about the birds. They don't care about the birds. And then, you know, my name is Angelic Parrots, right? Here, Angelic, Angelic Parrots. AngelicParrots.com. So I Google myself, Angelic Parrots. I'm all over the place. And now there's a website. It says Angelic Parrots Bird Farm. I was like, what? Somebody stole my name and just added wow. Bird Farm. And it's a scammer website. It has nothing to do with me. And I look at the website. They're selling eggs. They're selling birds. And they have very bad reviews. People say it's a scammer. Yes, because they know you have a good name. And... Everybody knows you and they want to make a name from you. That's crazy. Yeah, my angelic parrots, my good name, angelic parrots, got stolen by angelic parrots bird farm. It's nothing to do with me. I don't breed birds. And this guy, he's he's scamming me. Like, he scammed my name and he's selling birds. And we know he's not truthful. And we know it's not real. Yeah, so this is the way how you can you can spot a scammer out of the crowd if it's too good to be true and if the eggs is too cheap and the bird is too cheap it's not true it's not true like you experience and they steal a lot of pictures and yes. they have very low following all their account is very brand new on instagram only like two three weeks old yes yeah 
I also, before I had love and uh, glory, I had also incidents. A lady on Instagram, she had like two mark, two hyacinths. She reached out to me and she says, hey, I need to rehome them. Are you interested? Only uh, $3,000 for both. I was like, what? So cheap for two hyacinths? And it was in 2018. And I was looking into hyacinths, but I wasn't really sure. And then we were communicating back and forth. And um, somehow I just felt it was a scammer because I asked all these questions and she never responded to my questions. And then I got really frustrated and I Googled her and I found out she was a scammer. And then I found out also the pictures on her Instagram was all stolen pictures from other people who own Hyacinths. Same thing, it was in 2018. Oh. But I got so frustrated because she never responded back on my questions. And yeah, and I was so excited. Like, they kind of like, you know, swing me emotional. And they were like, yeah, we would love for you to get her rehomed. And they are beautiful birds. They are both tame. And they kind of give you some details. And emotionally, you are invested. And you think like, wow, they are the dream birds I want. And not just one, yeah. there's two, you know? And then you see all these pictures and, and then if you do research, it was totally a scam. Yeah. Because if you learn about birds, no bird is easy to have. No, no. <laughs> I know they need, they need a lot of time and attention. So, they yeah. are so That's intensive, like very That's intensive. Yes. Very intense. Yes. Yeah, so for me, no more birds because I already have my hands full of two hyacinths. Too much. That, that is also what I want to say. Uh, here in the Netherlands, many people on the internet, they want to sell the bird because mostly for the same reason, because they're saying, because we don't have time for the bird anymore. And I feel so bad for the birds because maybe they live years already to that owner and they bond with each other and then because we don't have time anymore we want to sell the birds like yeah. that easy like yeah. it's trash or something you throw away it's not fair to the birds well it's very hard to handle them once a bird yeah. like looks very ah. sweet and you are oh, bird bird but then once they're in the yeah. house and they start screaming you don't know what to do and they scream 24 7 you get frustrated you get angry you get mad and then you just like Phew. You just blow up and says, I don't want this bird anymore. You know, it looks so easy, but it's not. It's not, it's yes. not easy to handle a macaw. It's not easy to handle big birds. It's very hard. And then they always want to fight with each other. And then they are hormonal and then they bite yeah, you, yeah. you know, and they're never happy. So people have to realize that having macaws is hard work. It's yes. very hard work. It's, it's dedicated work. And also, you know, I work from home, so I have the time. But if you have a nine to five job and you come back home, it doesn't work either because you're never no. home and the bird is alone. Yes. And yeah. then if you have two birds, they just want to be together and they don't, they exclude you. They don't want to have anything to do with you. Just you should feed them, you know, but yeah. if you're home, you can love them. You can touch them. You can play with them, interact with them, and then you have a relationship with them, you know? So it's very time consuming, it's very costly, it's very intense, and it's not easy to have a bird. To have a bird is like basically to have kids, you know? Yes. It's like a full-time job. Yes. Like a, like an, uh, maybe like a four-year-old kid and that, yeah. that never grows up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and for me, it's just, you know, really intense but it's great because you know i love them and i have time and i care for them and all my birds are very well behaved all my birds um listen to me um i have a book my bird um uh, my book tells you a lot about bird behavior and how to like tame them how to be strict with them and don't let them just be like like just be naughty and do whatever they want because it's very easy to create a monster <laughs> with yes. birds you know, like if you let them do everything, you let them eat everything. It's like a cranky kid who hates you. <laughs> you have to give them good boundaries and you have to be very strict to them. And my book tells you how to do it, you know? 
that's uh, what I love about your videos. You not show uh, only the good parts, but also the things what going wrong with the birds. Yeah, fly <laughs> off. You can see how it really is. Yeah, I don't sugarcoat things. That's the reason why I'm yeah. very honest. And either people hate me or they love me. <laughs> but I'm very <laughs> honest because I don't just show the nice part. Oh, look yeah. at how nice it's free flying. No, there is hawk chases. There are flyaways. There are ravens chases. There is always risks if you free fly. When people try to steal your <laughs> birds or dogs try yeah. to eat your bird, this is like everyday, like common sense things that people don't know that people need to see, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. And you want to uh, train uh, Glory too, like uh, that she can go outside and everything, like your other birds? Or well, no? she can already go outside, but her wings is clipped. She can't fly. Yes. I have her since like now one and a half years. She still can't fly. She can jump maybe now like a meter, but she don't yeah. jump on command, you know? And that's what my book says too. If he doesn't listen to you in the house and cannot even jump, you cannot go out, she won't be able to fly. She needs to jump first in the house, fly in the house, indoor recall training before she can go out and fly outside. Like hope copy her now. And then love copy her too. They all kind of pick up behavior from each other. Uh, yeah, they're very smart. Uh, but she's in the right home, so everything comes all right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Well, it was great talking to you, Naomi. Yes. Thank you so much for making aware about this whole scammer thing. Yes. And thank you for being in my video and that I could interview you. Yes, I like that I can help you. Thank you. That's really sweet. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, if maybe, you... What? Uh, uh, maybe we speak another day and uh, I hope you the best with your birds. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you. Yes. That's so sweet. All right, guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you want to check out Naomi's Instagram, what's your Instagram? Naomi loves horses. <laughs> Naomi loves horses. Go check her out and shoot her an email. All righty, or comment or something. All righty, yes. thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Peekaboo. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and I will see you next time.